In this video, the secret to pouring self leveler and getting a flat floor. Okay, so I got this front hall and hallway over there, and I'm gonna be installing a big, huge house about, I think it's four feet by two feet. Big tile, I'm not exactly sure. It might be a little bit smaller than that, but it's a big tile. And this floor is way out of whack. It's not flat at all. It's got whole humps and bumps and dips. So to be able to install that kind of tile, you have to have a flat floor. So you can do spot leveling if it's just a few spots that you got some low spots. Uh, but in this case, it's really bad. So I'm gonna show you how to um, pin a floor so you can use self leveler and get a flat floor. So what does pinning a floor mean? Pinning a floor means that you set a uh, pin, in this case it's just screws, uh, to the height where the self leveler has to be to be at the same plane all the way through the floor. Uh, you're gonna understand how I do that in a second. So first thing you have to do is find the high spot in the floor and establish uh, the uh, minimum depth of the self leveler and I'm going to show you that right now so this is my 10 foot straight edge and I use that on the floor here to find out where my high spot is so this is my high spot right here right here and this floor goes all the way around here, they're gonna have to change that door, some rot there, it's a closet, and it goes all the way through here. And you can see that I have my laser level set up, and I got a bunch of pin screws, if you can see them, and back over here, we're back down to practically zero. So I'm gonna show you how to pin this floor. So, I establish my height over there in that spot there and I put in a screw so that it's just if you can see it right here just a, almost a quarter inch above the floor if you look at all these other screws you see that some are much lower some are much higher um, and that's because that's how far the floor is at level I got screws all the way around here now, to establish that height, I got my laser level. So I set the laser level low enough so that it, it would cross my screw gun. Um, so I put a piece of tape on my screw gun here. And then over there, I established my height by screwing the screw down. I'm gonna screw this down a little bit. To the height you need. So see here, this is, so then I marked my the tape with this is a crayon you can use a mark or a pencil whatever shows up the crayon works well because you'll see that it lights up a little bit as you get to the right level so and then you just screw the screw down uh, until you line up with that light you always want to make sure you hold the, the screw gun at the same angle and you do that so you make sure and see how, how that's at the same level now I'm going to do that throughout and over here as well. I don't know if you can see this one. See it's always on that line there. And then so you get the screw all the way around and you just put as many screws as you want. These are going to be reference screws. So there's another one. I'm going to screw this in. So you get to that line. Now, these screws are all, the screw heads, are all at the same height. And that's how I get my reference light. See, it's pretty deep here. So to be perfectly clear, the first screw you put in is gonna be at the high spot of the floor. And you're gonna set that screw at the minimum depth that is allowed by the self leveler. In this case, it's a quarter of an inch. You have a piece of tape across the, the screw gun. You're gonna set the laser so the, it crosses that piece of tape. You hold your, uh, on that first screw, you hold your screw gun on it, and then you mark where the laser crosses that level. 
Now that gives you a reference point for every other screw. So when you move that laser around, you're gonna put left reference lines some wherever you might need them so that you can always set the laser at the same level. And so every time you drill down a screw, you're gonna have the laser always at the same level. So when you put in a screw, you're gonna make sure that you screw it down so it hits the line on the tape. And you're gonna do the whole floor like that and that's gonna give you uh, the screws all at exactly the same level. You're gonna see that I am perfectly level. So that's how you pin a floor. So I'm gonna keep pinning throughout here, you know, using my laser as a reference. Then this gives me the depth of my self leveler so over there over there in that near that hardwood floor over there it's practically at zero a quarter inch and over here i'm almost at an inch and a half that's how far far out of level this floor is and then when i go back in, over there into that back into that corner there i'm practically at zero over there so this floor is way out of whack okay so i pinned the entire floor and then over here you can see it's like all the way down the floor so this is like about an inch over here and then it comes to about three quarters over here about three quarters half inch over there half inch over here uh, almost nothing quarter inch over here um, maybe a quarter inch quarter inch quarter inch and then it's about a half inch over here so I'm gonna say about three quarters of an inch on average so another important thing when you're doing self leveling you want to make sure that you fill all the holes anywhere a uh, the, the, the flowable liquid can go down below the floor so I'm gonna to have to create a dam uh, where there's holes. I'm going to show you that in a second. And uh, you always have to leave a quarter inch expansion around the perimeter. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to have to, now over here in this area here, I might, we're actually just going to block this off over here because that door has to be replaced and I have to get rid of all this. Um, they're going to have to take out this plywood. So I'm just going to block off the closet I'm going to put a 2x4 across here, 2x4 across there, and over here. Across here we're going to put a piece of quarter inch plywood standing up and the foam up against it to block that off. Same over there. And here we're going to put a 2x4 in this doorway. We're going to put a 2x4 to block that off. And the same in the doorway here. Around the rest of everything else, we're going to use this sill foam here, which is a quarter inch. And and then we're going to, uh, you know, you'll see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to dam everything off to make sure that we don't lose any material below the floor. Cut this in half. And now we're going to get the factory edge. See, this is the side I kind of the factory edge, which is flat. And I'm going to push it down to the floor, tight to the floor, and I'm going to staple it on the wall. So it's down flat on the floor. I'm going to put a bead of caulking all the way around here. So over here, where we've got finished wood, I'm going to put it down, I'm going to put the staple down low. So I have the foam all the way around. I'm not doing over here by the door, as I said. They're taking that door out, so we're gonna do that a little bit later. We're just gonna block this off over here. But I'm all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. And I ran a little short over here, so I'm gonna have to get a little bit more to finish this little area up here. So next is a bead of cork because if I were to just pour it the way it is now it would probably go under so I'm going to seal that foam to the floor 
so that I don't get any leaks anywhere. that all the way around down in there just like just like this to seal it all up seal this thing up here the hydro band board just gonna screw these together Okay, so the leveler that we're using is Laticrete Next Level Plus. So this here, with the, the, uh, the primer, this self-leveler here with the primer can be, it can be used over exterior grade, pl grade plywood. First you prime the plywood and then you mix it according to the ratio, uh, depending on your substrate. For, for exterior grade plywood, it's a ratio of one to one, so half primer and half water. So you prime that, and then you can pour this directly over the plywood. Uh, so if you're doing self-leveling, be very sure that you get the correct type of leveler, because not all uh, self-levelers can go directly over plywood without um, any kind of... Uh, of reinforcement so there's another one it's called next level not the next level plus if you were to put that over plywood you would need to use uh, a wire mesh lath uh, diamond lath over the plywood before you would pour the, the leveler so that's that's the case for many different levelers so just make sure that you get the correct leveler for the substrate that you're you know you're, you're trying to flatten out so this is a, a very good leveler a uh, next level plus by Laticrete. Okay, so if you before you pour the leveler, you need to prime it so that the leveler will stick to the uh, substrate. And this is what I'm using. So the back of the container is going to have the ratio of water to primer, and we mixed it here at one to one. And I'm going to. Just use a broom and spread it out on the floor to get it primed and then we're gonna let it dry. So what you do is you just, you know, I vacuum the whole floor, get it on the floor, spread it out. This is very important. If you not upset, you can, you can skip. Yeah, you can tell it's covered. Okay, so prime the whole floor all the way down there all the way around here now I put up a dam here yesterday so the, it doesn't go out the door there put another dam over here it's just a quarter inch plywood with uh, the foam on the front and then over here and this is where we're going to stop because uh, they got to change this door. So we just dam this right off and we'll finish that up once they get the door. And another dam over here. This is the barrel for mixing. Got a dust hog hooked up to the vacuum so that we contain the dust. So this floor goes from about an inch to, to a quarter inch. And this is our smoother to break the surface tension so that the stuff will flow. So when mixing the self-leveler, it is critically important to mix the correct 
ratio of water to powder. So read the directions and make sure that you add the exact amount of water that the self leveler calls for. Don't put any more and don't put any less. So the levelers will have a recommended paddle for the drill, a recommended drill speed. Follow the directions very carefully. Very important that you mix it according to the directions so that you get the performance that's designed into the self leveler. You can buy kits like the one I have here, which is, includes the barrel, the smoother, the drill paddle, and the cleats that you can attach to your shoes so you can walk in the level without getting it all over you. Uh, cleats are actually uh, very important when you've got a decent size paw so that you can get in it and walk around and smooth it off. And otherwise, if you can't walk in it, you're not going to be able to get it the way it needs to be. You don't want to dump it this way, you want to dump it so it always goes into the wet. It's kind of hard to do that, you know, hold the camera and do that at the same time. And I'm just smoothing it off to cover the screw head. See how there's a screw head right here? Mm. I just want to just barely cover the screw head. See that? And I'm just going to spread it out. So let me find a screw here. See there's a screw right there? I just want to just barely cover the screw heads. Make sure, because the, the screws are my, are my level. So I'm just going to keep on smoothing it off. Make sure I get the right depth. I'm going to bring it back if I have to. Cover the screw heads. So let's see how we did. Flat there. Flat across there. Flat across there. Flat there. So I think we did pretty good. 